Seaton from Lewis Marine here, guys. We'll just come down to the water today to take you through our Cruisecraft 720 Hardtop Explorer. Uh, Cruisecraft have been building boats for over 75 years, and we're going to take a further in-depth look at this model behind us, the 720. All Cruisecrafts come standard on easy tow trailers. Uh, standard is galvanised. This one's got an upgraded aluminium trailer under it, raid to three and a half tonne. Standard, we've got boat buckles on the rear of the trailer, spare wheel, swing up jockey wheel and a heap of other standard features. So one great thing about our Cruisecraft product is that it comes all factory fitted. So the engine, the trailer, the boat, the electronics, everything's X factory. So on the back of this 720 hardtop, we've got the F300 Yamaha. This has got the integrated electric steering. It's a fly-by-wire engine as well. So this is maximum horsepower. The other option you can have is a 250 or twin 150s. One of the options with the Yamaha fly-by-wire engines and electric steering is to upgrade into full Yamaha Helmmaster. So on top of this, we can put joystick control and autopilot system. So we've just stepped aboard the Cruisecraft 720 hardtop. It's the biggest Cruisecraft in the fleet that they offer. Got ample deck space, it's perfect boat for a day out in the water fishing. Whether you're going to the shelf, you're chasing tuna, you're deep dropping, this boat can do anything. Being that the boat's got a full hardtop with sliding windows, it's a great boat if you want to go and do an overnight trip. You've got a bunk up the front, it's 1.85 metres long, so there's plenty of room to sleep two people in there. Lock up cabin door with a sliding door in it, so you can close that off. You can put all your gear up the front of the boat and lock it away. So I've also got as an option on this 720 hardtop, a sliding awning, rear awning. Um, so the awning's quite simple. It just pulls straight out on the boat. Then it just locks off if you want to lock it into place. Just gives you that extra metre of shade out the back of the boat for those hot days on the water. Uh, we've got a plumbed live bait tank just in here in the back locker. Keep all your live baits in there. Bait board, this one's got a bait board upgrade. So this has got the three quarter lid in it, the premium upgrade. So you can store your lures and knives and tackle below. So when you want to get out of fishing mode and into family mode, Cruisecraft have designed a really good rear lounge. So the rear lounge simply just folds away in the back of the boat. You fold the legs out, you grab the handle, and you pull the rear lounge up. It just locks away. Cruisecraft, they've been around for 75 plus years. Uh, all the boats are composite, so there's no timber in the boat at all, which means no rot. The boats are completely foam filled below the floor, so ample flotation in the boats as well. So I'm just going to run you through a few of the features um, and optional extras that we've put in this boat from the factory. Um, so standard stuff, all cruise crafts are now come with Garmin Electronics as standard. So we've got the Garmin Ultra 125 SV in this boat. We've got your Yamaha CL5 gauge just here. We've got your Lenko trim tabs, your compass, your windscreen wiper. Standard GME VHF on the boat and also packaged up with the Fusion Stereo as standard. Some of the different things that we've put in this boat. Uh, we've got black in a hard top lid. We've got black glove box, black dash, black sliding door. In the boat, we've also got black lower side pockets as well. Makes the boat look different to any other boat. We've got complete sea deck in this boat as well. We've obviously got the rear lounge, the upgraded bait board. We've also got plumb kill tanks in this boat. So they can pump in and pump out if you want to keep a slurry in there, ice fish, um, you can fill them up full of water and pump them back out again. So we're out in the water now in the 720 HT Cruisecraft. Um, we're just going to run you through some of the features. Uh, we're going to go through some speeds as well and fuel consumptions and just have a look how the boat performs. An amazing boat on the water, there's not much they won't do. So we're currently sitting at 3,700 RPM, doing 49.50 kilometres an hour, and currently using doing 1.3 kilometres to the litre in fuel usage. So this boat's got a 370 litre tank, so we've got heaps of heaps of range in this tank uh, for those trips out to the shelf during the day. So that's sitting at 4,400 RPM, and we're sitting on 60 kilometres an hour. Um, and we're doing a kilometre to the litre at that speed. So we've got 300 plus kilometres range in this tank. 
um, at a quite a comfortable cruising speed. Wide open throttle. Doing 57, 5800 RPM and we're sitting on 82, 83 kilometers an hour. We've still got 0.8 of a kilometer to the litre of fuel burn. So even flat out, the boat's really economical for a 7.2 metre boat. So we've just gone back to a trawl speed. We're just down to that sort of six to seven knot mark. Um, 1300 RPM and current fuel burn is 1.8 kilometers to the litre. So you've got plenty of time to cruise around the shelf, cruise around the islands, trawling, tuna, doing whatever you want to do.